everybody, my name is Windy. So during the last private sale for Sephora, I actually had exams going on after that. So I told myself, no, nope, I'm not going to open all of these hauls until my exams are over. My exams are over, so I'm finally here. Let's do this. First thing first. If you don't already know what this UFO shape is, this is the Becca highlighter. This is highly raved and I'm finally able to get my hands on this highlighter. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the shine. This is in the shade Opal and initially I wanted to get the shade Moonstone because my skin is actually really really fair but it's all out of stock. It's out of stock online and it's out of stock in store. And then you have the sale going on. Like, what? Nobody can get their hands on Moonstone on the sale. It's a slight copper peachy highlight. Oh, this is awesome. I'm using it on my cheekbone now. Oh my god, look at the shine. I'm dying. This is quite expensive but it comes with lots of amount and you really just need a little bit to make this work look. So recently I have been obsessed with matte liquid lipsticks and the problem with wearing matte liquid lipstick is that I realised that my lips look kind of dry and it's unflattering when you wear one of those liquid lipsticks. That has taught me that the importance of exfoliating your lips before wearing it. The only lip exfoliator I could find in Sephora is from Fresh. Sugar Lip Polished. Smells a little bit like cinnamon and the sugar is really fine. What this does is that it actually exfoliates your lips and also locks in the moisture of your lips. I think that this works well but if you are on a budget, you can actually make some home lip lip scrub before you put on liquid lipstick. All you need is really just sugar, honey or olive oil. Next, the MAC blusher. This one, I have yet to use it. Um, it's in the color... What's in the color? Okay, it's in the color Melba. It's a very neutral, natural shade. I don't really like shimmer blushes. I prefer matte ones. It's a very neutral shade that I can wear with all makeup. Yet to use it yet. Next! This is something new that I have yet to try and I have never tried it before. This is one of the innovative makeup concept product. It's from Moon Shot. This is a jelly pot. Color Hawaiian Sand. I haven't tried it yet but I've swatched it in the shop and I was impressed. Let's open it together. This is new. It has a safety seal. Now I just need to open it. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh. Look at this. Oh my god, look at the shimmer. Now for the highlight, the swatch. Oh, let me dab it inside. And oh, look at it. It's so bright on the finger. So this is like, um, it feels creamy and cooling like a gel. It's like a gel like texture or cream. So. Oh my god, look at this, this is so high impact, it's much more high impact than the Becca's highlighter. What this does is that after it dries up, it, it's completely matte. Guys, this is pretty smudge proof, it's so strong. My finger looks so metallic, look at the residue left. Ah, love. I haven't tried it yet, so I should dab it on my eyes and try. Oh my god, I love this. I love this a lot. Oh my god, I love this. This is gorgeous. This is so gorgeous, guys. This is the shit. Can you see it? It's so shiny. They have a range of colours which you can use it on your cheeks, on your face, on your eyelids, on your lips. I definitely can use this as a highlighter and look at the eyeshadow! Oh my god! 
Let me try using this as a highlighter. I already have Becca highlighter on my cheekbone but I'm just gonna swatch it on it to see how high impact this is. This isn't expensive and it's pretty affordable. I think it's around $30. If you're actually considering to get the Benefit Liquid High Beam Highlighter, I would suggest that give this a try because this, in my opinion, it's better than that. This, I approve. Get it. It's worth your money. You won't regret it. So next, what I bought is this. It's actually a Sephora retractable powder brush. I needed a powder brush and I don't really want the traditional powder brush with a long stick, with a long handle. I prefer the retractable because when I go overseas, this is, I can pack this easily without finding it a hassle. Just grab and go and it protects the bristle. This is really good for traveling. Next, to go with my highlighter, I definitely need to get a fan brush, a highlighter brush. This is by Zoeva Lux Fan. Last but not least, is the sale is during May and May is my birthday month. I left the store with a birthday gift. It's Sephora Eyeshadows. Yay! And it's neutral shade. It's a usable color. This is a practical gift for customers. Way better than their previous Sephora makeup birthday palette which is like a little really tiny one with like blue, grey, pink and some other weird colour that I don't use and it comes in three separate containers I can put it inside my bag, so handy this is a good gift I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to follow me on my social media like this video and I'll see you soon bye So uncomfortable it's not on camera. How do people do this? I cringe when I hear myself talk. <sighs> okay, bye for real. <laughs> See ya.